Live Healthy is brought to you by Kirk Supermarket and Pharmacy. Welcome back to Daybreak. Well, are you on a diet and being really strict, you're doing a really good job, but just finding that the pounds aren't dropping? Maybe you are making some mistakes and Andrea Hill is here with us and she's going to show us or tell us why or right. what are some things that we probably are doing yeah. that's making us keep on the pounds. It's so frustrating, you know, like the, the whole process of losing weight can be very, you know, very restrictive, you know, mm -hmm. depending on how you are with yourself. But I definitely realize that there are people out there that are really working hard on their exercise but they don't see any changes. And, right. and often you gotta look at the diet, you know, what are you doing wrong? And there are some three common blunders, diet blunders that I would say people really need to pay a bit more attention to. And one of them I know <laughs> I'm probably very guilty of, and it has to do with our portion sizes. It is, and you know what, you are so not alone, <laughs> Evelyn, honestly, because a lot of people struggle with portions, and that's one of the main things that need changing when you sit with a nutrition professional the first time. So I've got, you know, obviously a lot of healthy examples here because right. when we when we overdo, when we eat unhealthy portions of those healthy foods, we can definitely pack on the calories without realizing it. One of those major things is nuts, right? Yes. I mean, I tell people grab that quarter cup. That's all you get. This is a serving now. Now, Edlin, a quarter cup is 200 calories. <gasps> no. Right? And for a lot of people, they will eat this entire can of nuts at one sitting. I know that I've done that myself. Right, you're eating <laughs> over a thousand calories. Almost my day's worth of calories. Oh, oh, a good amount, a fair amount of them, right? And things like olive oil, we know olive oil is healthy for us, but a tablespoon of that olive oil, which can go very, very fast if you right. don't measure, is 120 calories. Avocado, same deal, and then of course your vinaigrettes. We talk about healthy salad dressings, but if you are pouring it on without realizing how much is going on, you could be shooting yourself right. in the food before you're done that meal. And you're almost negating the whole purpose of what you're trying to do with keeping a healthy diet when you're not right. controlling your portions. It, absolutely, absolutely. And, and if this is where you struggle, start to pay attention to what is being drizzled. Even things like your oatmeal in the morning, you know? Mm -hmm. Are you adding tons of sugar? Right. Are you just like glopping on the honey and not really paying attention to how much honey is going in there so little things like this okay now mm -hmm. vegetables are good for you yes. and we do need to incorporate them into our yeah. diets but not every vegetable is well not necessarily not good but mm -hmm. not all of them are calorie friendly so to speak exactly and the thing is a lot of people will consider their fruits and vegetables free foods meaning enjoy unlimited amounts and believe me, I mean, when it comes to nutrition, produce is where it's at. Antibiotics, right. your fiber, your vitamins, your minerals, this is where it's at. This is why we recommend seven to 10 servings a day combined. Right. But people will definitely enjoy too much of certain ones that are higher in calories. This is one in particular, this mixed vegetable. Which is very common in like every household. It's very, that. very common. But now a half cup of this mixed vegetable would be almost 70 calories. That's the same amount that you're gonna get in half a cup of potatoes, half a cup of rice. So they're almost another starchy Starch, yeah. food, right? So I've got some other examples here. I've got broccoli, cauliflower, some summer squash, and some leafy greens because all of these would be more like 18 or 22 calories per half cup serving because they're very water rich. Right. So you want to choose properly, especially if you know that you're going to overdo and overindulge on your veggies, at least overindulge with the ones that are lower in calories. The calorie. ones that are good for you and exactly. the ones that are going to keep the pounds on. Exactly. Now, I'm a girl who likes <laughs> to add flavor to her <laughs> meals and I do that by adding sauces or different condiments. Right, and yeah. That can sometimes be a problem if you overdo it. You can be tacking on a lot of refined sugar and sodium and calories if you're like putting an extra squirt or two of ketchup and you're really glopping on the barbecue sauce and, and even your salad dressings, this is where I would, right. I would classify this as well. Now I've got some low cal condiments. I've got hummus, you know, maybe using this instead of really slathering on globs and globs of peanut butter on some right. crackers, for example, instead of your ketchup going with some very low cal mustard and there's different varieties. Your hot sauces, maybe using salsa instead of sour cream on that potato. So really just kind of watching the extras as, as well. Right. And then it goes right back to portions again, of course, Edlin, you know, you got to I mean, everything in moderation. And I know we say that a lot, <laughs> but it's true. And that's why we keep it saying is. it. 
it. It is, it is. So hopefully some of these will ring true for, for some viewers out there and hopefully we can help them shed a bit more pounds. Yeah. So it's really just about being aware of how much you're putting into body into your body Absolutely. and being aware of what each of those things contain in them. Absolutely, absolutely. Paying a bit more attention to that and you might just get past that one or two pound that you won't want to move. Plateau, that, that plateau, that just won't move. That plateau, All exactly. Right, thank you so much, Andrea. Thanks, Edlin. Thank, um, and as always, we'll have more Live Healthy for you guys on Thursdays. Daybreak will be right back. Live Healthy is brought to you by Kirk Supermarket and Pharmacy.